Can you please give us a quick Picasso of the Mach to explain it? Right, so the Mach consists of a series of venturis. We have flow going in, slurry flow, left to right. These are depicting the venturis. The first venturi I call the mixing nozzle. And this the purpose of this is essentially to straighten up the flow, get it ready for the first high-speed venturi and funnel or usher the material into this first high-speed venturi where the cavitation action is going to take place. And how that happens, um, it does sound like magic to a lot of people, but it's a principle called Bernoulli's principle, which states that as the velocity of the pulp increases in the throat of that venturi or in the restriction of the venturi, the instantaneous pressure actually drops. So the pressure here where the, where the velocity is at its highest, that pressure actually reduces and it reduces to the point where it drops below water vapor pressure. And that's what actually starts the cavitation process going where you now start uh, forming vacuum cavities in that venturi and that's that's the heart of the action inside the mach uh, because you need that as those ca uh, cavities then implode they form very very tiny bubbles which i call pickle bubbles and we're able to then inject gas in between those venturis that will disperse into those bubbles and uh, eventually mix very well into the pulp as it exits the mach reactor.